Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor. They were mostly young families on vacation. Today, Russia held a day of mourning for the 224 people who died when a plane apparently broke up in midair over Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. These are satellite images of that region. Investigators are gathering wreckage in a place where militants loyal to ISIS operate. So far, there is no evidence anyone took the plane down. But Air France, Lufthansa, Emirates and Qatar Airways are among the growing number of carriers now avoiding that airspace. More now from Alan Pizzi in Cairo. The search area for victims of the air crash has been widened, and with it, the mystery of what actually caused it. Russian aviation officials say the debris has spread over nearly eight square miles. Egyptian officials said the body of a child had been found nearly five miles from the main wreckage. There is every indication that the destruction occurred in the air, Russian Federal Aviation Head Alexander Naradko said, at a high altitude. More than 100 Russian emergency workers have been sent to the Sinai to help in the search for victims and to examine debris. The detailed investigation will involve French, Russian, Egyptian and other officials according to strict international rules. One theory is that the plane may have suffered structural failure. Under a previous ownership, the Airbus hit the runway at Cairo tail first in 2001 and could have reached a critical point of weakness even though it underwent many inspections. The extent of the debris field has also focused more attention on a claim of responsibility by an IS affiliate. The group is known to have surface-to-air missiles, but their effective range is only about 10,000 feet. For some months, a number of airlines have ordered their pilots not to fly below about 25,000 feet over the Sinai, and the Russian plane was even higher when contact with it was lost. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said today that the investigation into the crash could take months. This evening, bodies began being moved from the morgue for transportation back to St. Petersburg. Russian officials say they hope to have all the bodies recovered and repatriated within the next few days. And they've ordered the company that owned the airliner to ground all the A321 Airbuses in its fleet and check them. Jeff? Alan Pizzi, thank you.